A femoral acetabular impingement is due to an abnormal contact between the proximal femur and the acetabulum, which leads to pain and chondral or labral damage. The pathology can present in three different forms, a pincer deformity, a cam deformity, or a combined deformity. A pincer deformity is due to a focal or global acetabular overcoverage, and this overcoverage presents in the form of an overhang from the normal rim of the acetabular. It is most common at the anterior superior quadrant, which causes pain when the hip is flexed, adducted, and internally rotated, which causes contact between the overhang and the femoral neck. Conversely, if this pain is experienced with hip extension and external rotation, it may indicate a posterior impingement instead. This type of impingement is associated with complications such as an intrasubstance tear of the labrum as the labrum sits at the point of contact of the impingement in the anterior superior quadrant. There can also be a contracoup cartilage lesion in the posterior inferior acetabulum, which is in the opposite pole to the impingement because the anterior superior femoral head is levered against the acetabular overhang. This overcoverage of the acetabulum can be due to different causes, such as an acetabular retroversion, meaning that the acetabulum is pointing posteriorly, whereas in normal acetabulums it is pointing anteriorly, known as an antiverted acetabulum. It can also be due to a coxa profunda, which is a deep acetabular pocket causing the proximal femur head to be situated further into the pelvis, or can be caused by the more severe version known as a protrusio acetabuli. Conversely, a cam type deformity is caused by an aspherical femoral head, which leads to a decreased head and neck offset. It is also typically located in the anterolateral femoral neck, therefore leading to impingement during hip flexion, adduction, and internal rotation. During hip flexion, the aspherical head creates a shearing force along the acetabular cartilage. This causes the labrum to be pushed outwards and leads to a tearing of the transition zone between the labrum and the acetabular cartilage. As these are detached, there can be a peeling of the articular cartilage, which is known as a chondral delamination, resulting in a loose flap of cartilage.